on this episode of China Uncensored. Get off my plane. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. United Airlines, fly the friendly skies. Unless you're still sitting on the tarmac, then it's Mad Max. By now, it seems everyone in America has seen this video. Oh my God. Oh my God. But what you may not know is that the Chinese internet is also going nuts over it, and for some unusual reasons. But first, for those of you who don't watch TV, don't read newspapers, don't use the internet, live in a cave, and rely on China Uncensored as your sole source of edutainment, here's the background. On Tuesday, this video emerged of police dragging a 69-year-old doctor from his United Airlines flight. In the process, he was visibly injured. What heinous crime did he commit? Well, if you ask United Airlines, they'd tell you they needed to get their employees on an overbooked flight, got no volunteers to switch, and eventually randomly selected four unhappy passengers to be removed from the plane. Technically, United is allowed to do that, but it became a PR nightmare for them. That's because the unhappiest of the four passengers refused to leave, so Chicago Aviation Police had to reaccommodate him with force. So why has the Chinese internet exploded over this? Well, it's largely because the unhappy passenger is Asian, Chinese Vietnamese to be exact. A passenger on that flight recalled him saying, I'm being selected because I'm Chinese. Now, whether or not that's true, it fits a widely held view in China that when Chinese are the victims of crimes overseas, it's because of race. A view often encouraged in Chinese state-run media. For example, the incident last month where Paris police shot and killed a Chinese man had state-run media questioning whether it was race-related. So it should be unsurprising that the United Incident video has gone viral in China. It's been viewed more than 550 million times and counting on Weibo, China's version of Twitter. And with it has come nearly a quarter million comments. A lot of commenters are angry about discrimination against Chinese people. Others are saying America is hypocritical for criticizing other countries' human rights. So this incident has become like a propaganda Christmas for the Chinese Communist Party. Not that the officially atheist Communist Party would celebrate that kind of opiate for the masses. But anyway, Chinese state-run media have been having a field day. Plus, since the Chinese Communist Party is behind almost half a billion fake social media posts a year, I think it's safe to say they're fanning the flames on Chinese social media as well. If everyone is being guided to be morally outraged at the United States, they'll have less time to be morally outraged at issues closer to home. You see, the Chinese Communist Party has a problem. As Foreign Policy points out, when the Chinese internet argues about America, the real subject under discussion is often the Chinese government and how inferior or superior it is to the U.S. system. Guess which side China's internet police are on? Because it's true that America is dangerous, with its freedom and democracy and breathable air. And Chinese state media have a hard time breaking the cultural hold America has. So state-run media will exaggerate and manipulate news stories to make America seem like a ruthless, racist land. Like when Chinese authorities issue their annual human rights report on the U.S. Hmm, gunshots lingering in people's ears behind the Statue of Liberty? Those creative writing classes are really paying off. But that's why this United story is such a gift to state-run media. They barely had to do anything to it at all. The point is to convince everyone in China that they're much better off under the benevolent dictatorship of the Chinese Communist Party. The benevolent dictatorship where the kind, gentle city management police treat law-abiding citizens like this, or this, or this. So yes, it's debatable whether United Airlines really needed to reaccommodate these passengers, and there are really legitimate concerns over how it was handled. But the outrage in China might include a tiny bit of deflection from a regime that frequently reaccommodates the organs of prisoners of conscience. 
And let's not forget that besides having internet police guide the opinion of Chinese netizens, the Communist Party heavily censors the internet too. Like this censorship directive issued to find and delete negative and harmful commentary about a man in Beijing who mysteriously died in police custody. But you probably won't see any censorship directives to stop people from posting on the United issue. Which is another reason the topic has become so big on Chinese social media. So remember, next time you're flying with United and you get volunteered, just be thankful you don't have to deal with Chinese city management police. So what do you think of the United scandal and the response in China? Leave your comments below. And if you haven't, take a moment to sign our petition to Apple. Apple has blocked the China Uncensored app from Apple TV in Hong Kong and Taiwan, because that would make the Chinese Communist Party sad. Let them know what you think and sign the petition below. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Once again, I'm your host, Chris Chappell. See you next time. Wow, that city management police is such a jerk. And by the way, can I just ask, what exactly were they planning to do with that porcupine? Acupuncture?